Good morning, Calvary. Thank you for joining me for the word of the day. I have to admit, I don't have much of a green thumb. I'm not a very good gardener. I live in the desert and I struggle to grow a cactus. But my wife has had lots of success at gardening. Not here, but when we were on the mission field, she was able to have such a successful garden that it provided vegetables for our entire year. We lived in a place that had a very short growing season and it got cold pretty early on in the year. So we had a root cellar and we would keep things like carrots, potatoes, and onions in the cellar. And we also put some butternut and spaghetti squash in the root cellar as well. Do you know uh, something interesting? Those potatoes and carrots and onions would sometimes continue to grow as they were down in that cool, damp root cellar. They were roots, and so they could still draw some nutrients and at least attempt to grow, sending out, you know, those little shoots or more little roots. But the squash was not the same. Squash would stay fresh for a little while, but they wouldn't grow. And they didn't have any roots, so they couldn't grow any more fruit. And this reminds me of part of our new identity in Jesus. Jesus describes that identity in John 15 in verse 16. Let me read it to you. It says, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give it to you. So here we see that through Jesus, we've been given a new purpose to bear fruit and that fruit should abide. That means to be long lasting. So if we were to read the rest of John 15, and I'd encourage you to do that, you'd learn a little bit more about the fruit that should be growing in our lives. The fruit that Jesus wants growing in us is obedience to him, love for others, and joy in our Christian life. Take a look in, take a look in John 15 and you'll see that it's all there. Jesus wants the fruit of obedience to grow in our lives. He wants the fruit of love to blossom in our interactions with others. He wants us to have lives that are filled with joy. Growing spiritual fruit is one of the purposes that comes with our new identity in Jesus. So how do these things grow? Well, they grow by abiding in Jesus. We must live daily in the grace, knowledge, and presence of Jesus. Lots of different things can help us to dwell in Christ. Reading, memorizing, and meditating on scripture, prayer, time with other Christians, serving others. All of these help us to abide in Christ. The other cool thing about the fruit that will grow is that it helps us to abide in Jesus even more. As we grow in obedience, we will dwell deeper in Christ. As we spend time loving others, we will get the blessing of their input and love in our life. This will draw us into a deeper fellowship with Jesus. As we experience joy, we grow more expectant at what Jesus will do in our lives. These things help the spiritual roots of our life dwell deeply in Christ, where we get the power and the nutrients that we need for growth. Now, if we stop abiding in Christ, I guarantee the fruit Jesus desires will not grow in your life. Remember that root cellar that I had back on the mission field? All of those vegetables had their days numbered. None of them were going to grow bigger. None of them were going to stay fresh forever. If we didn't eat them soon enough, the squash went first. It didn't have any root to help it last. But eventually, even the potatoes and the carrots wouldn't be any good. They weren't able to abide without soil and sunlight. So they too were destined to rot. Our spiritual fruit is the same. If we don't abide in Jesus, the spiritual fruits of obedience, love, and joy will also begin to rot. And that does not reflect the purpose that Jesus has for our new identity in him. So let me encourage you today with your new purpose in Jesus. Bear some fruit. Abide in Jesus. Soak up the goodness of his grace and his love every day. Then see how he'll grow in you greater obedience, greater love, and greater joy. Thanks for listening, and I'm hoping that you have a great day.